welcome to my channel being you now thank you so much for being with me here today today I'm doing your June monthly reading this is for Virgo Sun, Sun Moon rising and Venus so if you have Virgo placements this reading is for you if this reading doesn't resonate head over to the videos tab there might be another reading that is more suitable for your individual circumstance this is a collective read not a one-to-one -one reading if you desire a personal reading that's the first link in the description box on the split I have the lovers and the seven of wands so all about boundaries boundaries for self and with and around loved ones is what i'm seeing right now so let's see what's your overall energy for the month of june i'm going to be doing my famous six card spread so june what's coming towards you lots of cards what you don't see coming, what you don't see coming, one card, yeah, challenge, I will be finishing off with um, romance and abundance cards, so stay till the end, let's see, <clears throat> I want to get all your cards out, so that advice and wow advice that's more than um, one but an outcome one for outcome one for outcome please spirit one for outcome one for outcome there we go perfect all right let's see what have we got overall energy so this month a lot of you are focusing on savings. A lot of you are focusing on your money. Um, you basically, your time and energy this month is very much on your 3D. So your money, your career, your finances, your home life, that's where your focus is. You're not, you're not focusing on anything else. You're avoiding distractions this month. This is in your overall energy. So maybe you are saving for a trip. You're saving to buy a house. You could be... Um, you might have a big goal as it relates to your career or maybe you're studying to get a you know particular certification or qualification so at the moment your focus is very much on achieving that you are blocking off everything else and any noise around you at this moment in time this is for the month of june you've got two fours as i said a lot of you are spending time alone you're not really socializing you're not really interested in talking to or mingling with others also with these two cards spirit is actually encouraging you maybe you've had a very busy may maybe you've had a very busy last few weeks or week even and what spirit is inviting you this month is to take some time out some of you might literally be you're going for vacation you might be going or disconnecting maybe you're going in the forest or where there is not much technology you might just be retreating or feel the need to retreat and really honor that i feel like this is about honoring what you need this month particularly if you've been go 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 it's not about burning the candle on both ends it's about coming from a place of awareness and looking after your needs and that's what these two cards are saying what you don't see coming is decision making so there is something i mean with these three cards themselves i feel like you know there is some form of decision that you will have to make and i feel like this is where this time out or the four of swords this four of swords is going to be, you know, quite important for you. Don't, what I'm picking up is that don't make hasty decisions. Not that I see you doing that. What I feel in the month of June is going to be important for you is whatever. It's making decisions from a place of knowing and awareness. And the way you're going to have that knowing and awareness is in solitude, is in doing your pros and cons list. It's in understanding what is it that you truly want in life and what is it that uh, you don't want or are not desiring and that's what's going to help you now i also see that you will have options as well so assess those options as i said pros and cons list came up in the spirit is showing me that so i'm sharing that with you so take what resonates now in your challenge we have the devil so there will be temptations particularly I feel like the devil card showing up in your challenge position. This is Capricorn energy. Now, what I do want to say with this devil is um, there will be temptations. You know, there will be temptations in terms of maybe there will be a lot of invitations or 
um, people will be like, oh, come on, um, Virgo, why are you staying by yourself? Why, you know, why don't we go to this party or I'm picking a party loud with this devil card. This is showing me parties, drinking, lots of noise, lots of people, um, lots of social activity where there's, you know, basically the image and the vision that I've been given is where you literally have to yell at each other to try and hear each other, you know, and I feel like with these, your opening messages, this is in contradiction. So there will be temptations. That's why it's in your challenge position. It's about how do you navigate through those temptations in the month of June to get closer and closer to your goals and vision that will help you make decisions. Okay, so now we have a few cards in your advice. World card, major completion. The fool, I love this. I love this. I mean, we have 22 major arcanas in the advice, the world card, and this is the final card of the major arcana, and this is the first card of the major arcana. So this to me is, the spirit is encouraging you to literally close out all cycles, people, places, situations that are not serving you, and let them go with love and light so that you can welcome the new and embark on a new journey. Somebody here is definitely going to be traveling, taking time out, I feel like this is vacation, particularly with the Four of Swords, much needed break, much needed time, could be even different country, different city with the World card, that's also very possible. This could be also, you know, maybe you are leaving your old job, which was highly toxic, and um, maybe this devil could be that they want, they don't want to lose you, you know, they, they put a little sweetener in and say, hey, Virgo, if you stay, we'll give you a bonus, or we'll throw in extra five grand or whatever it is so but you are ready to embark on a new journey you have completed successfully completed something and june is where you are ready for a new adventure something new and spirit is really encouraging you in this advice position to go for it for some of you this could be to do with the night of so the night of cups is love this could be to do with love that you've completed a cycle you could have um you know, maybe you've ended a relationship and now you are ready. You've healed from that relationship. You've ended a relationship. Now you're ready for a new relationship, new love. For others of you, this could be you have put in after the end of the relationship, you have been focusing on filling your own cup through self-love, self-care. And now you feel like you're ready to take on the world and go back out in the dating world to go back out and meet new people. So I am really, really loving this. Big, big changes, transformation for you happening in the month of June. This is very big. You've got some really big, powerful major arcana showing up. So in your outcome, we have five of wands. I really like this in the outcome position. This to me saying you are ready for an exciting new challenge. Whatever this old stagnant energy was, you are done. You're dusted and you've closed that successfully. And now you want something new. You're ready for excitement. You're, excited. you're ready for play. You're ready for a new challenge. That's what I'm picking up here for you. Really, really beautiful Virgo. Let's pull you some love and romance cards for the month of June. So let's see what's the message for my Virgo for the month of June. If you desire personal reading, it's the first link in the description box. I also do readings over the phone. So if you'd like to do a phone reading with me, just hashtag tarot or you can get the details from the description box. All right. Free yourself, literally, the full card, double confirmation. It's time to take back control of your life. Go get it. Go get it, Virgo. It's time. It's your time. It's literally your time. Past life relationship. I feel like that world card was, you know, past life relationship. You have known each other before. And maybe that's why, you know, it was that healing was required because you felt like something was deeply connected and, it wasn't the case, so you needed to heal from it. Keep an open mind, the devil card. This Your whole reading is double, triple confirmation. I love this for you. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I feel that with the Knight of Cups, the World card and the Fool, it could be, they could be from a different part of the world, different uh, cultural background or different upbringing to you. So keep an open mind. That's how you're going to welcome love. Let's see what the abundance cards have to say for you, beautiful Virgo. Messages for my Virgo. Reframe. I love this. This is happening for me, not to me. Claim, claim, claim this in comments. 
Virgo, thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. If you haven't subscribed, tap that subscribe button. It's completely free. That way it lets you know when the next reading becomes available and it lets me know that you enjoy these readings and you want me to continue. And remember Virgo, the power that is you by being you now. I will see you next time.